And Ellie is helping me this morning make my smoothie. Look at this combination in here. So what we got now? What are we putting in now? Okay, that's it. Good way. It will be a smoothie. It'll be Daddy's smoothie. Look at the layers in there. You are my best friend, that's right. And you can have, you can have a little taste of it. I don't think you'll like it, don't lick it like that, no. So what have we got in here then? It looks a right little combination there. So we've got some berries. Dad, when, when we mix up, we'll like it. Yes, we will. We've got some berries in the bottom, blueberries and raspberries. Like then we've got some porridge, we've got some pumpkin seeds, we've got some chai seed, we've got some flax seed, we've got some, what's that, willpower? Kato cream here, we've got some collagen, um, we've got some protein, vegan protein. Get your hands out. Got this. No, get your hands out of that, thank you. Um, what else are we putting in it? I think there's something else as well. Uh, oh yeah, some flower seeds there in there. <coughs> A banana, banana's been dropped in. Now it's gonna have some milk and get mixed up. Here he goes, one quick mix up. <laughs> Nice, look at that now. Perfect. Cheers, don't mind if I do. Mmm. Chocolate milkshake. Makes it nice. Not chocolate milkshake, chocolate protein. <coughs> Mm. Our next guest has just arrived for our podcast, and it's only Miss Ned. It's Big oh, Joe, this is Jen McVie. <laughs> How are you, Mister? You okay? Coming in after yeah. rain, coming in after rain. You good? <laughs> Lovely, this is. Lovely, Laura, my wife. Nice to see you. How are you keeping? <laughs> <I'm all laughs> <laughs> it's only Big Joe, he's turned up for our next podcast, so it's exciting times. Yeah, it's been years, it's been years. Boxer, I think. Yeah, that was the referee. Yeah, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. N-I-C-K. N-I-C-K, yeah, please. Sweet. Eventually I'm working for Craig Hazel. <laughs> so it's an exciting afternoon today. We've got Big Joe Egan come over to our house to do our 12th uh, Diary Room podcast here up in our bar. So it's exciting times. The boys have bought a couple of his books and he's signing them now. We've got all cameras set up, ready to go. Watch this space. <laughs> <laughs> I nearly caught that on camera. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Okay, we've got an exciting day today. I've got my old pal, Big Joe Egan. Come to our house. He is our special guest on our 12th video podcast, Craig's Diary Room podcast today. It's going to be an exciting chat. I've known Joe for what? Close to 20 odd? Close 20 to 20 years, years Over 20 years. Over 20 years. When we first met, he gave me a signed book of his and I still have it today. In fact, we'll give him one. Do you remember the night we met? I do remember the night we met. It was, it was exciting times. It was the... Um, <laughs> it was the... The bear, no, it wasn't the bare knuckle, it was the uh, unlicensed fight. Yes, unlicensed fight. You were there with Ricky Hatton. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, I'd watched you on telly many times. <laughs> Big fan of yours. <laughs> Big fan of Ricky's as well. And I just got chatting to you outside because yeah. I've known you forever. We hit it off instantly, didn't we? Yeah. Liverpool in particular is yeah. such an affiliation with the Irish. It's like the mm. second capital of Ireland anyway. Yeah. You know, it's we've got a great rapport with the, the Liverpoolians. <laughs> and um, we just chat away outside the. Was the Olympia in Liverpool? Yes, the Olympia, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 20 yeah. years ago, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And do you know what? Even kind of like 20 years before that, I used to go to that place when it was a nightclub. And I tell you, the head doorman was there. John Conte. Is it John Conte? No, John Conte. John, he was heavyweight. Was it Britain's um, hardest doorman? He, he fought him. Um, no, that was another event another with um, Britain's hardest doorman. That's with Fingo from Manchester, Chris. Chris Bacon. 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 No, no, Bacon. no, Chris Bacon. Chris Bacon. Chris Bacon. Chris Bacon. Chris Bacon. Chris Bacon. Great guy. We were there that night as well. Yes, yeah, yeah. No, but the, the, the yeah. Olympia was like a, an amphitheatre. It was brilliant. It was like for... a modern day amphitheatre. Yeah, yeah. So I, I was there for a few fights. Events like that, it's perfect. John Conte was on the door there. Yeah, listen, but we're going to do this properly on our three okay. main cameras. Okay. This is only on my phone for my daily blog. So <laughs> hold that thought, we go straight to it. Let's just stay, just roll that one for me. And Joe, let us know you're happy with our... 
thing you want here because this is I can change any of this. Okay, we, we can change the wind, but just check the okay. cool with it. Let me see, let me see what we've got. The one for three rounds. I didn't like the number six, eight, ten, twelve rounds. Mm. I didn't like. You too heavy for that? No, I didn't like the running. I never liked yeah. the running, Craig. And I think if you're gonna fight, I thought six rounders. Yeah. I could put down on my first six rounder. Round, round, round. What round did I want to put? Round six, I could put down. I think. But I went on to win. I put up and held on and went on to win. Mm. But if you're gonna fight six, eight, ten, twelve rounds, you've got to run six, eight, ten, twelve miles. Mm. And mm. I never liked the running. I do the sparring, I spar, I do the bag work, I do the pad work, but I think, and I tell young fighters, I'm talking to young fighters, you've got to put the miles in on the road. Mm, absolutely. You've got yeah. to, mm. because you've got to have that fuel and the yeah, tank for all of these fighters, you know. And it's, it's, listen, if you don't put the mileage in on the road, and I learned the hard way, mm. I didn't put the mileage in, so yeah. I suffered, like I said, I got put down on a few of my later fights as a pro, but I got tired. But I tell people, you can have the best Formula One car in the world. Yeah. On the racetrack with an out clapped out banger of a car, mm. but the Formula One car at one end of the small amount of fuel in the engine in the petrol tank, yeah, and the clapped out banger of a full tank. After a certain length yeah, yeah. of time, that Formula One car is stopping mm. because it's run out of fuel. Makes sense. The yeah. clapped out banger is still going to be going yeah. because it's yeah. put the fuel in. The head and the snake. I tell people, it. even there, yeah. prime example, toasted fuel using. Yes. Prime example. Yeah. I don't care what anybody says, I will stand and debate this with the best debaters in the world. Yeah. Tyson Fury wasn't fit for that fight. Oh, because exactly. I don't care what anybody says, his brilliance was only in flashes. Mm -hmm. He could not sustain the brilliance no. because he was tired. Yeah. Right? Usyk, he sustained the brilliance because he was fit. Yeah. And there's an old saying, fail to prepare, be prepared to fail. Yeah. Now, Tyson Fury's preparation, he broke his camp nine weeks after going and watching Garner and Joshua. So that's yeah. a break in the camp out of Saudi. Yeah. His second break yeah, in the Well, that was the previous one. That was the previous one, right? one yeah. But his second break in the have a 12 week training camp, right? Yeah. All champions do a 12 week training camp in preparation for that. Give me a medal, I'm the Holy Community Medal, and be knocked out my two front teeth. Yeah. All my years boxing, I only had one tooth knocked out. But I got bullied because I had the Irish accent. Mm. And um, now, was that making you feel then as a young man? Well, it was horrible. You know, it was horrible me, because, yeah. you know, no, no child should get bullied. Mm -hmm. But it happens in adult life as well. People think it just happens to children. It happens in adult life as well. But what I did was I picked up the English accent to try and mix in. Mm -hmm. And then when I went home to Dublin, I got bullied in Dublin because of the English accent. You couldn't so, win. No, you can't win. No, but, no matter what was happening to us as yeah. children. You know? It was a tough growing up then. It was very family. hard. Tough because your mum and dad having seven children as well. To yeah, well my, dad, my dad worked away for 11 months of the year. So we might only get to see him for one month a year. But he was a good provider. He would ship the money home. We never went hungry, mm. we never had the luxuries of chocolate biscuits or things like that. You know, yeah. when you're feeding eight people, seven children and, and my mum, yeah. you know, you've got to try and make ends meet with us. My mum could make a feast out of nothing, you know. Yeah. She was incredible. She used to have the, the beans and uh, we grew up stable dogs, potatoes with beans. And she could do wonders with beans. She could yeah. do curry beans long before I used to do curry beans. Yeah. You know, and but several of us eating beans and they're eating beans as well. You don't want to write a match at our house. <laughs> 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 <laughs>